every once in a while, I have a Premiere Pro project that gets corrupted. This will get you back on track and editing in no time. My name is Chris and I'm a filmmaker and I'm here to help you tell stories. So today's tip is how to fix those issues. <laughs> Once in a while, I have a Premiere Pro project that has issues. It won't play, it won't render, certain things just don't work as they should. Now this won't fix every problem that you have with Premiere, but if for some reason your project or timeline was corrupted somehow, this will take care of that issue and get you back to editing. Now unfortunately, I don't know how to tell if your project or timeline somehow got corrupted. So the only way to find out if this will actually solve your problem is to try it and see what happens. So create a new project. You need to go file import or right click in the project pane and select import and choose the project you want to import sequences from. Now you can import everything or you can import selected sequences. First thing to try would be to import the entire project because then you get absolutely everything just as it was in the previous project. The difference is you're bringing it into a new project so if there was any corruption or weirdness, hopefully you leave that behind in the old project file. Never overwrite the old project file, just in case. Now if you wanted to try a different option or you chose the wrong one to begin with, you can just press Ctrl Z to undo and try again. Importing selected sequences will then give you the option to choose one or more sequences to import into the new project. If I click on a sequence, click OK, it only brings in the files referenced by that specific sequence. Let's try again, and then if I use Shift or Control, I can extend the selection to choose which sequences I want to bring in. Now I brought in both these sequences and all the referenced files. The one difference is that any footage that was not used yet didn't get brought into my project. So if I'm halfway through a project, I may not have everything that I need to complete it. Now, one other thing, I'm not using it in these instances, but if I wanted to do this for multiple projects, say I was going to consolidate or whatever, um, I can create a folder for imported items, which is good if I'm trying to bring in multiple projects or sequences, because not only can this be used to fix any corruption in a file, it can be used to just consolidate multiple projects into one. So now you can see it put them each in their own folder. So you have the timeline, all the files referenced in that timeline for each sequence that I've imported. So all you need to do to import sequences into a new project, which in the cases of corrupted timelines or project files, might be enough to kind of reset the project and pick up right where you left off without the issues that you were having to begin with. Thanks for watching. I have more filmmaking and Premiere Pro tips available if you're interested. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on what's coming up in the future.